The Christmas bird count was started in 1900 as an alternative activity to overhunting. There was an activity called the side hunt that was done during the holiday period, which really epitomized the overharvest of wildlife. In the latter half of the 1800s, many populations of birds were in decline, especially colonial nesting seabirds and egrets and herons. Feathers and plumes were very much in vogue, both on women's hats and also in other accoutrements of fashion. Not only were individual feathers and plumes used, but oftentimes even whole birds were seen on hats. Literally entire breeding colonies were being extirpated in a given season by uh, the feather hunters. The growing conservation awareness at the end of the 1800s and early 1900s grabbed onto the egrets as the poster child of these birds in decline, and the egret became the symbol of the fledgling Audubon societies at the time. Frank Chapman, who was an ornithologist at the American Museum of Natural History, was among many people who were realizing that conservation was necessary, and he proposed the idea of doing a Christmas bird census rather than a holiday bird hunt. That first year, there were counts done in 25 locations by 27 people across the continent, actually, and it's been done every year since 1900. My name is Jeff LeBaron. I'm director of the Christmas Bird Count for National Audubon Society. I've always loved birds. Birds actually gave me the ability to realize that you can engage other people in the environment because they're so captivating. They're, they're beautiful, they're fascinating, they do amazing things, and there are lots of different kinds of them. And with a little bit of effort, you can actually have a very up-close and personal encounter with birds. Literally every human being on the face of the earth on any given day can go out and see a bird. And I don't think there's any other kind of animal or wildlife that you can say that about. In the present day, the Christmas bird count has grown tremendously. We now have over 60,000 observers out in over 2,200 locations across the hemisphere. One of the important things that the Christmas bird count data set enables us as scientists to do is to answer the popular question that we get all the time, how are the birds doing? It's a complicated question really because some birds are actually doing very well while many groups are actually doing very poorly. Another really important thing that we've learned from the Christmas bird count data set is how are birds responding to changing winter conditions, early winter conditions. We've learned in the Birds and Climate Change report that a number of species have actually significantly changed the center of their abundance as seen during the Christmas bird count. And over 60 of them actually have shifted their range more than 100 miles northward in the last 50 years.